Hello everybody, welcome back to the Mandela Catalog Volume 1 Restored Edition. Now, I don't know if he just added more to the first part or what the hell he did, but we'll figure that out. I don't remember seeing this part, but then again, it has been like a year and a half or just a year since I've seen the first part. So this may or may not have been in the original video. I don't remember. I don't think it was, though. It doesn't seem familiar to me. We are currently receiving countless reports regarding unidentified hostile organisms that we will refer to as alternates. Maybe... Maybe that wasn't the start of it. ...understanding of the threat, it is important to stay home, lock all doors and windows, and have access to a loaded firearm or other ranged weapon at all times. Your can of Febreze with a lighter. ...alternate exists based solely on their physical characteristics. If you see another person that looks identical to you, run away and hide. If you see a person with any sort of biologically impossible characteristic, run away and hide. If an alternate manages to enter your home, refrain from any kind of communication or contact. These intelligent life forms utilize elements of psychological warfare to take advantage of their victims. While we heavily discourage any kind of contact or communication with an alternate, we make excuses for attempts at executing them yourself. Right, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to listen to anything a creepy little jack-in-the-box has to say to me. You can tell me all sorts of horrible, weird shit. The only thing that I'm going to care about is if you try to break down my door, and that's when the can of raid and the lighter is going to come into play. You're not gonna trick me, bamboozle me. Creepy Jack in the Box looking. Neutralize the alternate if, if safe to do so. Oh, your place in reality. Have you been spewing out weird little. No, your enemy. <laughs> Have you been spewing out weird little tidbits like this the whole time and I just haven't been paying attention? They both look like enemies. They both look like people off of Breaking Bad and your face is gone. Your face didn't look too good to begin with. <laughs> Whoa, shit. I was going to say, your face didn't look too good to begin with, but then that guy was real jacked up. You've gone silent. Right, right. I've, both of your faces look familiar to me. You both look like I've seen you before. Hold up, hold up, hold up. All right, we're good now. I just had to adjust my volume. I was about to say, I'm not reading that. No, it's fine, don't worry. What's up, are you all right? Yeah, it's not me, it's my mom. She's knocked out cold my Oh, I remember this. I'm on the way to the ER, but could you do me a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Uh, I just need you to come over and turn on the cameras we have set up. You know the ones that we installed after we were robbed? Oh, yeah. Mind if I ask why? Well, she screamed really loud right before I found her on the ground. I, I just... Well, do you have your doors and windows locked? What the broadcast told us it is? Yeah, that's the weird part. Maybe she saw something? I don't, I don't know. There's a reason that your mom has been KO'd on the ground. I'm just gonna switch them on and get out of there, though. You know how I feel about your house. Yeah, that's fine. One last thing. Try to get a good view of the back hallway, if you don't mind. Okay. I wouldn't be taking any special requests. I gotta go. I'm almost at the hospital. Thank you. I wouldn't be taking any special requests. Honestly, I wouldn't even do this at all. Uh, your cameras are not worth my safety. And my safety is worth one hell of a lot, if you ask me. I don't care about your uh, security cameras. This is all... I think this is slightly different. I, th I think. 
It's been a long time. I don't remember. This is the dude walking into the house to set up the cameras, right? Or leaving? Yeah, he's leaving. Alright, he just turned the cameras on. Okay. Well, I was gonna say I can't watch all four of them at once. Well, I can. I can stare right in the middle of it. I remember this door. Creepy-ass, janky door. I still don't know what that is. I think that's the basement. It's the pit of hell. It's just black. Oh, there we go. Stop right there. You weirdo. Oh! You smashed in my window. I just got those fixed. We were just robbed. And now we're being robbed again. Damn, Jack in the box. Oh, well, how, do, well, how come you didn't catch the dude walking in there? Shut up. Shut up. You're supposed to be a burglar. Just take the TV and go. Where's the rest of the light in the living room? Be a burglar. You don't start talking to me. I'm not opening the door. Where's the... You're stealing the light? Why are you confiscating my ability to see? He's taking more of the light. <sighs> it's the burglar. I'm still not going to read that. I'll read it in my head. The camcorder, right? We're gonna get the inside scoop. Unlabeled tape, maybe we won't get the inside scoop. Or maybe you're just gonna make me wait too long. I'd assume there'd be a tape in the camcorder. No. Right. You tiptoeing up the steps? Where you go, Mark? Oh, don't punch out the lights. Oh, damn it. Night vision. Oh, shit. Ah. Uh, hello. The TV's downstairs, you can just take that and leave. You fucking bastard! You just wanna... What? What are you saying down there? Bad decision, Mark. Why are you still there? What more do you want from me? You look like the face in the in the the talking mirror in Shrek. You know what do you know the magic mirror in Shrek? That's what you that's what you look like. You got the same kind of face head shape, weird mask look. An FBI warning. Oh my gosh. Hey look, it's on all the 2000s DVDs warning me that if I steal this, I'll be in jail for like 5 years and have to pay $250,000 fine.
Yeah. A bootleg Prentice and the Frog, and you're just gonna go to jail for half your life. Doesn't seem doesn't a situation may occur where the local 911 dispatchers run out of operators to handle calls, so they are given to the police department instead. Okay. Right. Like I said, this when I first saw this video, um, if you told me that there was a little mini you running around the house trying to kill you, when I'm not helping. When police attention you. is needed, send available personnel to the address provided by the caller. Why did the audio shift like that? It went from like front to back. I wouldn't be coming to help you. You'd be on your own, and I'd tell you that, and then quit my job. When there is a fire-related emergency, contact the neighboring fire department with the provided address, along with a brief description of the event. When the caller has a medical-related emergency, immediately contact the Mandela Community Hospital where their reception will take control of the line. Encounter. What happened to the smooth jazz in the background? Do not help the caller reporting a home in intrusion. No matter the, no matter how frantic their screams are. Yeah, I wouldn't. I, I already said I wasn't going to do that. Calmly reassure the caller that help is on the way. In the call when they start responding. Yeah, like, see, look, we got the same, we got the same pattern, you know, we like. Thank you for taking the time. To I wouldn't. <laughs> no way in hell I'm gonna. What? <laughs> what? Ninety-five increase. Uh, Ninety-five percent increase in uh, mad Medicine cases. Medical awareness disorder is a severe mental illness that has seen a sudden return in recent months. MAD is the result of exposure to verbal information that is not desired to be known. The rate of death by suicide in patients diagnosed with MAD is 97%. Oh! But don't worry, the remaining 3% makes it worth trying to reverse the delusion. Oh! Avoiding development okay. of MAD is the first step to being safe. It is recommended to avoid excessively frequent religious practice, as well as any belief in unnecessary philosophical implications. Always remember that looking after your friends, family, and loved ones is a key factor for maintaining mental stability. I feel like I'm in a yoga session. That yoga teacher kind of sucked. Where was the stretches? Tyler stress assessment video. What is that? Oh, oh, I'm having a stroke. Video. All right. That word just wasn't coming to me no matter what I did. And this is for ages one to five. Data seat present for results. I'm not a to I'm not a toddler, so of course none of this will bother me. No, no, no. Select one. Right now I'm feeling a, a strong smile. I'm feeling happy. Yeah, that's that's a happy sound. Yeah, that's a happy sound. Still a happy sound. Yeah. That's a man. You know the little, just a little man. It's a man. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Nosferatu. That's a that that's that's a great. That's great. Nosferatu. That's great. I feel very strongly, very happy with Nosferatu. 
Did the zoom in on his face? Ah. Oh. Tomorrow, right. Mr. Havisham will take you to your grandfather. And you will live with him at the castle. Okay. But I shall not go with you. Um, I don't really know what that was. I don't feel negative or good about that. It's just um, a man. A child's drawing. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good. Yeah, that's a smiley face. The Scary Knight, age four. School, Mandela, Mandela Elementary School, grade 4K. Daddy didn't check under the bed last night. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta always check underneath the bed. So I went to mommy's room. I was scared. There was scary knocking in the door. On the door, not in the door, on the door. And the scariest part is walking by the dark room by the stairs. Yeah, you'd think I'd be able to read this uh, kid's handwriting better, considering it's better than my handwriting. All right, this kid, this kid is like Da Vinci compared to me. See it, Da Vinci? Picasso, Picasso. Da Vinci? Da Vinci, what did Da Vinci do? I'm so confused. I meant, I meant Picasso. I meant Picasso. Da Vinci? Da Vinci? Is he? Oh. Da Vinci. What? Huh? Captain Bones? Oh. Oh, shit. An intruder! I, your face is still imprinted on the... I got... Excuse me. I got so distracted by trying to figure out who Da Vinci is that... Yes, Da Vinci... Yeah, see? He's also a, a painter and an artist. Okay, see, yeah, I got distracted by Da Vinci. And when I heard that knocking on the door and then I turned away and I looked and saw him there, that actually scared the crap out of me. Like, legitimately scared me. Um... But yes, Da Vinci is also an artist, so I was right with Da Vinci and Picasso. So, I can check that off the list. Um, great video. Um, it kind of, it didn't really, well it did, it did elaborate on like specific parts from the first video. But this seems like it was just like a, a recap, adding a little bit more detail to the story. Which, of course, I'm down with. There is another video that came out, I believe maybe two or three days ago, and I'm also going to watch that, but just not now. So thank you all for coming along with, coming along with me on this horrifying journey. It wasn't even a horrifying journey. It was an informative journey. Yes, because it was a recap. It was an informative journey, and I hope to see you all next time.